Hey, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. You're probably wondering why I'm sitting on top of a thousand feet of majestic 10 gig Cat6a ethernet cable. Well, in the very near future, we're gonna rewire our entire house with Cat6a. But today, I'm gonna show you how to terminate Cat6a ethernet cables with the correct supplies and tools. And this video is brought to you by JDM Automations out of Las Vegas. JDM Automations is the number one low voltage installer in Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, Henderson and Green Valley. So if you live in Las Vegas and you need some ethernet installed or coax or fiber or maybe some speaker wire or some camera installations or even installing a big screen TV on your wall, then give Mike a call at JDM Automations and tell him Mike from Ultimate Tech Hub sent you. You'll get that Ultimate Tech Hub discount. And thank you again to JDM Automations for supplying this Cat6A and these connectors. Now back to the program. So first we'll go over all the supplies and tools and then we'll get started. All right, these are all the supplies and tools we're gonna need to terminate the Cat6A. First, you're gonna need some Cat6A. Probably not a thousand feet, but you could probably buy 500 feet or 250 feet of this. And this is Cat6A UTP Unshielded Twisted Pair. So the tools you'll need for this job are a wire stripper, wire cutter. You'll need a crimping tool, so make sure this is the Cat6A Cat7 crimping tool because the Cat5E will not work. Should say right here, and it does. Also, you'll need some connectors. These are the traditional Cat6A premium connectors, and these are the pass-through connectors. We're gonna use these today because this is a pass-through crimper. I can't use these on this one because it'll actually just break, break the end of it. And since we're using UTP, which is unshielded twisted pair, there is no ground wire in here or any foil. So let me show you what this looks like. I'll go ahead and uh, show you how to use the stripper. You see the blade right there? Put it like right here. And then you want to turn it. And then it'll break it like that. And then after you break, it just pulled off. And let me show you how this looks. As you can see, we have the traditional four pairs, the green, blue, brown, and orange. This is the center core. And once we, we'll have to snip this off when we do the termination. One thing to note about this, this is the easiest of the Cat6A types to install. And with Cat6A, it's very thick and rigid and it's tough to bend. And Cat6A is definitely harder to terminate than Cat5E or Cat6 riser cable. Also, one more thing to note is that these wires, you have a green right here, but this white does not have the white green on it. So make sure once you untwist these, you kind of keep them segregated together Otherwise, you're gonna get it mixed up. So just keep that in mind when you're terminating these cables. So yeah, that's it. This is unshielded twisted pair. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is untwist all four pairs, and then we're gonna straighten them out. That way, we can easily get these wires into the T568B configuration. And the best way to do this is to use the old wire cover that we removed earlier. This technique makes untwisting the wires and flattening them really easy. It also saves your thumb and fingers from getting sore. And guys, don't forget, hit subscribe, it's totally free. So once you unravel all four pairs and get them straight as possible and flat as possible, it's time to trim off that inner core. Remove all three plastic pieces as flush as possible. Now it's time to line up the wires in the T568B configuration. It goes white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Now trim off the wires as straight as possible. And I think these wires look pretty good. Now insert all eight wires carefully and slowly into the pass-through connector. Once the wires come out the other end, make sure to check the colors to make sure they're all correct. Because Cat6A cables are very thick, we need to kind of smash the end down a little bit to allow the blue cable cover to go inside the connector a little bit. So use this part of the crimping tool to help flatten that part out a little bit. And then we can slide the blue part of the cable inside the connector. Now it's crimping time. Insert the connector all the way into the crimper and then simply press down. We hear kind of a snap. And then pull it back out and check your work. Looks really good. And lastly, put that boot cover on. Looks really good. So if you plan on terminating shielded Cat6A, you have to use these connectors. This connector has that clamp or that ring that wraps around the cable 
and secures the ground wire to that clamp. And these connectors also have a load bar. You would simply insert the wires into the load bar and then insert the load bar into the connector. And these are the CAT6A premium connectors. They also have a load bar as well, but no grounding bracket. And let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make a video on how to terminate shielded CAT6A using that ground wire. If I get a large response in the comment section, then I'll make that video. And guys, as usual, like, share, subscribe, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll catch you in the next video real soon. Peace.